have got us in this economic quagmire uh, continues to be a challenge, and that is the battle against the virus. And on some days, it feels like the virus is winning. We see globally a number of cases rising. We know the U.S. is now the epicenter of that, and we see some particular states having such a significant problem that they're having to backtrack on their reopening plans. All this inevitably feeds into the economic outlook, and we just had the International Monetary Fund downgrade the outlook for global growth, which was already a horrendous outlook, and it went from horrendous to worse than that. So on this particular day, uh, volatility worked against investors, whereas in many sessions over the past several months, that volatility has been working in favor uh, of investors who have been looking to recover from those uh, very sharp declines that we saw uh, early in the outbreak of the pandemic. The market remains quite sensitive to news developments, and uh, in some cases in recent months, it, it has seemed to only want to embrace what might otherwise be viewed as positive developments, such as uh, uh, news about a promising vaccine or treatment with respect to COVID-19. Uh, but it remains at risk of negative developments, and when it feels like the give and take with the virus is taking a negative turn, I think it's natural for investors uh, to pause. And this occurs at a time when many institutional money managers believe that the market looks uh, rather richly valued. And that's not the kind of environment where you want to sort of get out over your skis and be buying when the news cycle is arguing against more caution.